Hello everyone, this is Andy, and today I will show you how to adjust the volume control in Google Meet. By default, Google Meet has a feature that automatically enhances the quality of video calls. This feature adjusts the volume and ensures clear sound during a video conference. Here are the situations in which Google Meet automatically adjusts the volume. First, when Google Meet detects background noise, such as someone starting to type, traffic passing by outside, or other reflective sounds, it automatically adjusts the volume and applies noise suppression. Additionally, when multiple participants are speaking, Google Meet automatically adjusts their volume so that only the active speaker can be heard. And if Google Meet detects echo or feedback from participants' microphones, it will adjust the sound settings to reduce or eliminate these issues. Additionally, Google Meet has a feature that levels the volume among participants in the conversation, ensuring that if someone's microphone is too quiet or too loud, it maintains a consistent volume level for all participants. This means that in the Chrome browser or the Google Meet application, there is no built-in way to directly adjust the volume of each participant. So let's explore a few alternative approaches. First of all, if the volume of a particular participant is too loud or too quiet, you can politely ask them to adjust their microphone level in their device settings. You can also adjust the volume in Google Meet using the built-in features on your device. In my case, to control the system volume on Windows, you need to click on the speaker icon in the lower right corner of the screen and here we can adjust the volume by moving the slider. If we want to completely mute the sound, we just need to click on the speaker. On Windows, there are also keyboard shortcuts to adjust the volume, and we can similarly increase or decrease the volume, as well as mute all sounds on the desktop. Here are a few ways to resolve common issues you may encounter in Google Meet. If you experience echo, check the placement of your microphone. Make sure your microphone is positioned at a sufficient distance from the speakers. If it is too close, it can create a feedback loop causing echo. Also, close all windows and doors to avoid background noise and turn off noisy appliances, such as fans or radios, to eliminate the echo effect. You can simply turn off your microphone. This will prevent the microphone from picking up sounds from other participants and creating echo. If you are having issues at this stage, here's what you can do. First, you need to check if Google Meet has access to your microphone. To do this, we click on this button and check if access to the camera and microphone has been granted. After that, you need to click on the three dots, then settings. And in the microphone, if it is working properly, the sliders will be moving here. If this is not happening, you may have the wrong default device selected. To fix this, try selecting a different device. Also, make sure to check if the microphone is turned off and that everything is working properly. After that, rejoin the meeting. Also, if you are using a headset instead of the built-in microphone on your laptop or computer, make sure it is properly connected. If you are using a wireless headset, check its connection and battery level. And if you have ever had trouble keeping records of your meetings, I suggest you try the extension from Blue Dot. To use it, you just need to click on the extension and then start recording. Blue Dot will literally begin recording and analyzing your meeting in the background within seconds. And here are examples of a real meeting after using Blue Dot. As you can see on the right side of the screen, we receive a complete transcription of the entire meeting. It is also evident that Blue Dot identifies speakers, and in addition, it generates AI summaries of your meeting with key moments. By clicking on these moments, you can review the relevant part of the meeting, and it will also be highlighted in the transcript. Thus, by using Blue Dot, you will no longer have to write notes manually. I hope this video was helpful to you. Goodbye, everyone.